Hello everybody, Destroyer here. Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings of Battlefront 2 HD Edition. Today we'll be looking at the final faction I have to cover here, and that would be the Dwarves. So, let's jump right in to a skirmish here. Got it all set up already. So I have, of course, covered all the rest of the factions. If you want to check those out, then you should be able to do so. But we uh, are going to cover the Dwarves today, which is the last one I have to look at here. I gotta say, everything so far has been wonderful. The HD edition is very cool, and I definitely like pretty much everything that's been changed and updated, so I'm really happy about it. I think this is a very, very great mod, and I definitely recommend you try it. But for now, we're going to go try out the dwarves here. I happen to know, of course, the dwarves look amazing. They have one of my favorite overhauls, I think, of all the factions. I, I really like the elves, and I really like the dwarves in particular. Their, uh, their graphical and model updates. So, let's have a look at the Dwarven Fort. I guess that's a bit too... This map loves me really zoom in, doesn't it? Here is the Dwarven Fortress. It's quite nice. Of course, it's just a crisper version of the regular one. And we'll start with a hero. So we have, of course, Gloin. We have King Dane, and we have Gimli. You'll notice Gloin and King Dane have updated portraits, icons. And that's because they have different looks, which is very cool. They've adopted the Hobbit looks for the Dwarven heroes, Gloin and King Dane, which I really, really approve of, actually. At least I think... Actually, I can't remember. Doesn't Gloin have a full head of hair in The Hobbit? Maybe he does. But in here, I guess this would be later on, maybe he's balder. Maybe that's maybe Gloin isn't from the Hobbit, but King Dane definitely is, the look wise. I think he is though. Nah, somebody in the comments will know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he is. But either way, they look amazing. So we'll check out all three Dwarven heroes. I'm so used to having King Brand. I feel like where's King Brand? Of course, that's a Rise of the Witch King thing. If you're like, who the hell's King Brand? So here is Gloin. He looks very similar to the other one, but he's like way better, <laughs> way, way better. Look at his hammer. Oh, he looks amazing. I mean, look at that. Glenn looks great. I didn't like it there. He's got quite the mustache as well. I'll see to it. And beard. Yeah. All right, let's get some guardians. Did you notice guardians have a new icon as well? Looks much better. Where do I go with these? And let's go for... let's see... what else do we need here? Did I get King Dane? No. Yes. I thought it would. Alright, let's have a look at King Dane. King Dane has a very cool texture. There's King Dane. Look at that. Oh, yeah. King Dane is really cool. Look at that helmet. I love King Dane. So good. And here is the Guardian. Pretty much all the dwarven units have updates, like different, they look different. So I really like the dwarves, the revamp kind of, if that's what you want to call it. Here's the guardians. Kinda like the elves do. Every faction has a new texture, of course, and such, and model. But some are very different. And I think the dwarves are more different. Kinda like the elves, like Mythlon sentries and such were different. That's, that's why I like them more, I guess. I really like the unique new looks of them. They still have the green, though, of the phalanx, but they're much better looking. Which I really approve of. So that is the phalanx there. Look incredible. And then we got a new horde of orcs ravaging my crap. I will not have this. I won't stamp this. Alright, so that's all we have to get from here. It's convenient. Let's go for some axe throwers. And some Men of Dale. Because what video would be complete without Men of Dale? There's an updated Men of Dale summon icon as well. To represent the new Men of Dale look. I like that a lot. Let's watch him fight for a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you have this. Get him. Oh, nice. I still like the upgraded orcs as well. It's 
shields. Ah, and the Easterlings, of course. Easterlings are also one of my favorite units. Just because the Easterlings in general just look beautiful. They all look like Shredder from <laughs> Team's Mutant Ninja Turtle. And who doesn't like Shredder, right? Here is a tower for the dwarves. Throwing its axis, as they do. Is that an upgraded texture for Forge Blade? Upgraded icon? Might be. I think it looks different, but it might be. Might be hallucinating, maybe. Let's put down a hearth. Let's get more guardians. And um, let's get some axors as well up in here. Oh yeah, axors look really good too. Axors and Metadale also look just as good as the everything else. <laughs> the everything else. Oh yeah. And of course, there's something very cool about the dwarves. Their heroic statue is incredible. So we'll have a look at that up close in a moment. After it's done building. Here is the Axlor. They still retain the original pink hue. The pink shirt that they have, but they have a very much updated texture and model. And they just look generally really, really great. So well done on that, of course. We'll show them the might of the dwarves. Let's get more of these, actually. Mordor has no chance. We will not fall to such weaklings. Let's auto cast that. Yeah, that'll do. What does this do in Petrol Mono 6? Enemy units are debuffed, plus speed and 25% we'll damage. Okay. Interesting. Right, let's upgrade this so we can get some Minadale. Definitely want some Minadale. And let's have a look at this beautiful statue. Look at the Dwarven statue, everybody. It's Thorin from the Hobbits. Isn't it wonderful? It looks really, really good. That is really cool. I need to look at the Dwarven Builder as well. So up to look at a builder. Up to builder. Awesome. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the new statue. I think that's a really, really nice hot nod to the Hobbit. It also fits really nicely with the Dwarven theme because obviously Thorin was important. So it works. Let's get more mines. I don't have a whole lot doing. So we can do with a few more. I think there's a thing there. Okay, let's put it here then. We'll push through into the center here. Yeah, we need Gimli, of course. Can't forget Gimli. There's a bit of money, of course. I'll have to wait a bit. We'll have a look at the upgraded uh, upgraded armies when I get the forge works and such. So that'll be a thing. That's definitely the Hobbit portrait, isn't it? Just a bald version of him. I'm pretty sure he had a full head of hair, but I guess 50, 50 years later he lost his hair. Sounds reasonable. So they might have done that themselves, I have no idea. I edited his portrait to make him bald. If so, that's pretty cool. Nice touch. If not, then well, <laughs> give you credit where you don't get it, I guess. Either way, it's a nice portrait. Let's go with that. Alright. Am I getting buffed? I am. What signalizes I'm getting leadership in this patch? Is it the glowy parts? Must be. I'm used to having like circles under my guys, so when I don't have leadership, I'm like, what is what's happening? Ah, no! Oh. <laughs> of course. I built next to a goblin. Alright, let's come back. Defend everything. Defend the Thorin statue! How much are these? 1200. My goodness! I thought that was a good idea. Whatever it is, I hate him. Let's see how much this works, actually. There we go, now they have the circle. Metadale, you're called to action. Soon. I need a hearth. Damn it. Stink control. There we got a catapult now. There is the updated catapult model. Contextual. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a dude with a lever. 
or lever. <laughs> Are we gonna say it? Very cool. You just fire and rocks. That's what you do. Alright. Man of Dale. There we go. Yeah, I'm taking out a couple of farms. They're making this difficult. Why would you die? Let's go take that, actually. That would actually really help. We already had to look at all the boats, of course, in the Elven video. So I won't be doing that. I didn't look at any of the evil boats, but I don't find the evil boats are like. Boats are a very minor part. If you want to have a look at the boats, I think you can look at the evil boats yourself. This is too big of a deal. Alright, so here is the Men of Dale. They're pretty Let's eager go. for battle right now, but can you just Ready, hold off on a minute? Keep That'd be great. Let's go. Come on, Menadale. Ah, oh, I forget to slow down when you do that. I'm trying to get him out of the leadership range. There's the Menadale. The Menadale look incredible. I love the new Menadale texture. They look really cool. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. I didn't ask for this. Uh, let's get more men of Dale in here. Oh, they took my catapult. Yeah. What if we were to get oil casks? If only I had the money for such things. We can summon men of Dale, though. That seems reasonable. Of course, they summon him with the new men of Dale texture. Troll! Kill the troll! Everything else is irrelevant. Of Dale. Why do these cut? <laughs> it says level two, but you can't level up these. That's odd. I'm here. Pick up your arrows, men. Nothing stands taller. Anyway, let's upgrade this so we can get fire arrows. Let's upgrade this just because we can. Let's get some farms. We're gonna need to replace our, our statue. I think I lost a builder as well. Damn it. Alright, banner carriers for you. Archers of Dale have an arrow ready. Oh yeah, that's right. Archers. You can't auto cast things in BFM2. I, I forgot. But there is the Guardian portrait. We've expanded the whole a bit up closer. Up I've always thought <laughs> the Phalanx picture, like, he's so intense. Look at those eyes. Crazy bastards. Thorn statue. We have the best materials. And her no, There we go. That's level three. That is a thousand, okay. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. And now they don't seem to want to attack us anymore. To capture the outpost, we'll build whatever comes from it. I think it's hobbits, but I'm not positive. Archers of Dale. Let's give you that. They may be near. Actually, with your time, just capture that. That works perfectly. There we go, fire arrows. So here is a level 3 Hall of Warriors. Awesome. And we got the level 3 archery range with the updated Men of Dale and Axelor texture on there. Practicing their range. It's a nice little tower there, and a bow and such. Pretty cool. Yes. That's really excellent. Alright, give you flaming arrows. Actually. Which ones are summoned? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Hobbits. We'll get one thing of hobbits. I've had a look at hobbits before, but you know. If you got it, you might as well build it. Uh, what else we need? Let's get another tower. So nicely destroyed my other one. I need a forge works, don't I? Well, so need to build a wall, of course. Any faction that can build a wall will build a wall. Because. Just because. <laughs> I don't need a reason. I'm just gonna do it. Right, put some of those on there. Oh, God. Alright, alright, alright. Where is Dane anyway? Now I can update all of them with that. There we go. Get them away from our buildings. 
when I look at a unit, I don't want to have the buffer on them though. Oh. Ah, oh, God, it hurts. My goodness, I noticed. I lost a lot of Axors. Let's get more. More dwarves. Earn Harbarb. Get another builder on there. Excellent. Okay. We'll upgrade this. It looks like there's a new Mithril Mail icon. I'm pretty sure the Forge Blade icon is updated as well. And Siege Hammer is also looks new. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yes, battle wagon looks is that a guy? I thought that was a builder. Okay, a guy repairing it. <laughs> that's not. Very much not. Shoot him dead! If you would. Really? Let's go way over there for line of sight on him. Okay. <laughs> there is the fire arrow upgrade on the Minabale. <laughs> Intense death. Let's keep upgrading this so we can get our upgrades. Let's get another thorn statue. Can we have enough? Uh, we need a wall hub. 750. Dwarven walls are apparently cheaper than other factions in this patch. I mean, it makes sense. It's an interesting little tidbit there. This is level 3. Okay. So we'll have a better look at that when it's upgraded. Crush them! We'll soon have summon royal guard. Oh man, if we could shatter him, that'd be great. Also, I need a Gimli out here. I should probably get Gimli out before we have a look at all the armor upgrades. Ooh. Nice. Oh, mouth is around. Why are you so silly? Okay, how much is Gimli anyway? 27. I need a thousand resources. Can we get industry? Oh, it's on the other side! And by industry, I mean dwarven riches, of course. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can have that one. What if I put a tower here? It's like a chip point. Put some men of Dale in it. And then I don't have to worry about it as much. Here, on the other hand, let's do this. Pretty sure they're going to be coming from this direction in a second. There they are. Let's let these men of Dale have a field day over here. There you go. We're gonna lose that mine shaft again, but uh, it's fine. Whatever, it happens. All right, we have enough for Gimli. Ah, don't say that to me. <laughs> Why? Why you do this? All right, well, I need a few of those apparently. But the second dwarven riches, so that's good. Oh yeah. Ah yes, that will do it. Men of Dale. Men of Dale. Stay with me. Scout. Just go in there. I know it. Men of Dale into the tower. Just get a thorn statue there. And I think we can pull the rest of the army elsewhere. I'll leave the heroes actually. You guys can go this way. Keep things safe over here. Listen until I get things set up. There we go. Oh yeah, we could have two things in here, huh? Grab that. I'm not used to that either. Okay. Now we still can't have Gimli. We just not have the space? Okay. <laughs> Well, some people are going to be just decommissioned here. Let's get rid of a... Get rid of an Axlor. And let's get rid of a... I think it's all we really need to get rid of. Just keep building more mines. It'll be fine. 
Or should I say it'll be mine? No! No, we shouldn't. Of course. Who? Uh, crap, my game's lagging. Why is it lagging? One second. I hope, hopefully I'm still recording. I had a freeze. I heard a mumic and then the game kind of froze up, so it was kind of weird. I don't think that has anything to do with the HD edition, so, uh... Yeah. This is my PC having a bit of a hiccup. Let's ignore that, eh? Alright, so they'll stay down here, I guess. It seems reasonable. Hopefully they can take care of that. We are done with this one. Good. Okay. Good. That worried me for a moment. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is record a video and I have to re-record it. Because of that. It should be fine. Let's get a just, just a partial wall. We don't need a full-on wall, I guess. Not today. Not this day. This day we get Gimli and this day we get upgrades. So there is the Dwarf Mithril Mail. Forge Blades icon. The Siege Hammers. Flaming shots. We'll get ourselves some catapults. Let's go to battle wagon before a catapult actually. Demolisher as well. And then we'll get a catapult. Go back and heal. Oh. Let's not fight that. Focus the Mumek, please. He might just walk over my heroes. Nope. It's okay. Gimli! Yeah! Excellent. Let's have a look at Gimli. Here is HD Gimli. In all his HD glory. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look at the camera. <laughs> I love Gimli. Get in there, Gimli! Show them what the wolves do best. I don't have the armor upgrades for the walls. We need more resources. Let's get that and that. That will be useful. Looks like that. We have the I mean, I said I wasn't going to go for a full wall, but I, I lied to you. <laughs> I might be going for a full wall. I like my walls. What can I say? Just make your base feel more cool, I think. Oh, attack roll. Let's actually repair this tower here. There we go. Keep that alive for a bit. Just gonna put a mine back here somewhere. Yeah. Very good. I think we'll go for. Let's go for a real gate. Posturing gates are cool, but real gates are where it's at. I think at least. I'll put a posturing gate here though. That's not bossing it. The guardians can use the sea travelers now. Stinking creature. Stinking creature. Boom. Oh uh, yeah, 1.06 Gimli, the most OP thing in the game. God, he's ridiculous. He even has leadership, for God's sakes. I mean, what? <laughs> what even? It's gonna move those out there. That makes more sense. You pull back. All right, we need to have a look at the upgrades. Let's go for that there, though, and that there. The walls didn't take the color of the upgrade. What? Is that a 1.06 thing? Might be. I don't know. I thought when you upgrade your walls, your walls upgraded. Whatever. It's not that important. Anyway, we have a tower there on the wall. So it's that. Getting a catapult on the wall as well. We'll go for catapult on here. What is this? Fight proud today. Uh, I should probably get another posture and get here. The mines are in danger. I don't know why they're going that way. Alright, let's have a look at the battle wagon. You'll notice this battle wagon looks pretty different. 
is ran by a dwarf with a goat. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. That's a nice change. So they're not using whatever weird ass creature that the dwarves were using before. They're using more of a goat thing. Looks pretty good. Let's put a, a banner carrier on the back of that beast. Looks like we're getting a demolisher next. Excellent. Probably because of the dwarves. The heroes by themselves and been fine. I think the new battle wagon looks really good, actually. Especially with the new phalanxes on the back. Oh, so good. Yes! Stinking creature! Let's make sure it doesn't go flying in there now. Let's get another one of those. Let's get a hall expansion just to show off one. And we'll get another catapult there. Dwarven citadels, or fortresses of catapults. Awesome. Does this have... Like a fire on it as well? Fire shots? You would think it would. No. Hmm. 106 sucks. <laughs> Just saying. Let's throw up another tower here. Yeah, so he is. I'm not too bothered about Galadriel, to be honest. I've looked at Galadriel already, so. Not to do too much reason. I mean, if we can claim it, we might as well. Oh, come on. Should be no problem to do that. Alright, we'll make Galadriel then. Why not? Let's go! Because it costs a lot? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's a reasonable reason not to. Let's get all the upgrades for the fort first and get all the troops upgraded. Then we'll get a Galadriel. It's the last thing on my priority list, to be honest. Could go rampaging across the land, of course. Club break. Undermine. Undermine does not give you money in this patch, of course. Got barrage, though. Barrage is nice. Let's hit the barrage. Yes! Well, I didn't do much. <laughs> Fair enough. Go back for help. Oh boy. The movement has caught fire. Oh dear. Have an arrow ready. Well, screw him. Keep your heads up. The mighty there they are. Ready. Ah, excellent. We have, it. we have the one ring. Let's fire into that. Oh shit. Oh, somebody just happens to be walking by. How convenient. So this is the fortress with the mighty catapult on it. Here's a look at the mighty catapult. In HD. <laughs> what else we got here? Play of casts. Of course. Of course. Protect this area. I don't think oil casts the make a difference, do they? They might. There's siege kegs. Adds little kegs to the side. I haven't actually looked too close to the golden fort with the uh, upgrades. Of course, most maps don't allow you to get this close either. It's quite close. Of course, oil casts the dudes up here. So that'll be that. And there they are. So they're the little guys that throw the barrels. You can put it through a trapdoor and. Boom! Cool. All right, let's look at the port completely. Now we will upgrade the troops. Assuming I have one of each. Let's take a look at the demolisher real quick. It is pulled by rams as well. So they're utilizing more of the... They use rams instead of they use whatever the hell that thing was. The pig-like ram thing that they had before. And there's the updated guys in the back. The enemy. And here is the armor upgrade for this. We'll start with the demolisher and work our way around, and then we'll deploy it as well, of course. Our structures. So when you upgrade it, it gets a 
Gold cog and gold uh, trimming. And when you deploy it, you get some big old shields on the side over the rams. Pretty sick. Pack it up. And you get this the demolisher. Am I, alone I like the demolisher. Looks good. Right, let's get these guys here. We'll go for forge blades. Let's heavy armor first. I'm not going down without a fight! Right. Let's make sure he doesn't die there. Whoa! Officer Arnold almost took his life. There's the Forge Blades on the Phalanx. And... Heavy Armor. Get out of here, you're giving leadership to my guys. Oh shit, hang on. That could be a problem. Actually, I couldn't quite the, quite the force, don't I? No! Where's Gimli? Alright, let's do this. Gimli's got this. Stinking creature! Let's see if we can get this drummer troll down as well. There you go. Nice. Okay. In you go. Is there Easter Lings? Yes, there is. Who gives a shit? Be all right. Track <laughs> uh, track roll's not very lost at us. All right, there we go. She defended. All right, well, <laughs> I didn't really get a chance to look at too much there. Let's get more of these. Let's see, what we have left over here. Maybe Mordor will bugger off for a bit. You kind of bugger off. Stop hitting my guys with that. Oh, it's a troll. Of course. There you go. Nice. Okay. Now I can have a look at them. In peace. So there is the Phalanx with the heavy armor upgrade. That's the enemy. Oop. Didn't mean to hit that middle button. They get the uh, full on chest piece there. The nice helmet as well. The forged blade. Let's have a look at them. And then we'll do one with Forge Blades, we'll Keep one with Siege Hammers. See the difference. How about some fight See down here. So there's the Exor with armor. There's the Guardian with armor. Guardian with armor looks incredible. Oh, so good. And there is the Forge Blades. The dwarves look so good. Ah. <laughs> Look at the guardians, though. They're so nice. They look so heavily armored. Alright, so we need Men of Dale. With heavy armor, of course. Let's see what that looks like. Just throw this on that real quick. Yeah, we have Galadriel money. How nice. And there is the Men of Dale armor upgrade. So that's like a nice trim up on the bottom. Some shoulder pad coloring and helmet coloring. And a back chest piece kind of like scale armor thing. Move it. Looks real nice. Let's get Galadriel in there. That'll make things a lot easier for us. Alright, what are we missing? Catapult, of course. We have the best materials. Dwarven Siege Works. Siege. Let's get to work. We can't have a, a dwarf thing without siege. It's madness. My heroes are getting high level. This is good. I'd like to at least do a shatter hammer once in my life. Ooh. Sauron. Let's cut down Mouth of Sauron. Just throw an axe at him. Nice. Yep, that does a lot. Good job, enemy Mordor. <laughs> Stupid AI. What you do this. Give me take out the trolls all the way to fight the rest. Oh my god. There we go. Ready to heal. And good enough. Fight pull him out. And you 
get in there. We have armies of upgraded dwarves. How about sending them in? Oh my god, these things are OP as shit. <laughs> I remember these things being incredibly OP in 1.06. If you thought they were bad in 2.02 of Rise of the Witch King, they're actually worse, I'm pretty sure. In Battle for Middle 2, Patch 1.06. I mean, look at this. They're running over pikes and taking, like, no damage. It's nuts. Alright, it's Caledrill's on the way. We'll get a catapult. Oh yeah, we need a guardian with not a guardian. Yes, guardian actually. A guardian with the siege hammers is what I was looking for. Forget about that. We'll have that. Let's get another statue in there. More thorn statues. We need more thorn statues. Throw some catapults on the walls there. Not a normal thing I would do. I hate putting things on the wall because it actually gives you a weak point in your wall. Usually what I do if I play around with walls a lot is I put a outcropping and then I put a, a wall, like a kettle here. And then I just delete the middle parts or something. Or just leave them. I think it's better than putting them on the front. Personally. Alright, so here's the catapults. The Iron Hills catapults. Keep those ropes tight. And here is the editor's catapult with the flaming shots. It looks identical, but of course it will be firing flaming shots. Let's get in close. <laughs> this thing didn't even die. For God's sakes. Alright, guardians. Get you that, get you that. And we'll give you the siege hammer. So we'll see what siege hammers looks like for guardians. Are they still being buffed by something? Get oh, the statue. We've got to move. I want to get them out of the range of a Don't buff thing. There we go. Oh, yes. And the I'm Siege Hammer is on its way. Ooh. So when they get Siege Hammers, they actually lose their shields and they get a two-handed... Well, it's one-handed, but... Two-handed hammer. I would guess they're using two-handed hammers because... They got rid of the shield, but that is cool, actually. I like that a lot. Careful dwarves. Very neat. Dwarves. Did they used to get rid of their shields when they had siege hammers? I never actually zoom into a shield hammer. Or a sh uh, got to move. <laughs> words. Siege hammered guardian that often. I'll stand by your side. Our own. They might have, but I can't remember. Ah, at last. Either way, it looks really good. Bring them to their knees! Oh, he died fast. Sick. Is that tank the damage? Alright, if you haven't seen Galadriel in the other video, here's Galadriel. She does look HD, but at the same time, it's hard to tell because she's really just a blur of color, regardless of what she looks like. Ah, oh, yeah. This will make things exponentially easier. In we go, dwarves. King Dangerous looks so cool. I mean, Glowing does too, though. Oh, yeah, nice. Summon a Kinney's Royal Guard. Oh, nice. Very neat. Right, you get in there, we'll do that, I guess. Because we can. Let's also do some of this stuff. Uh, should we go for Earthquake? I think we want to get Citadel so we can have a look at the Citadel. Earthquake will look like Earthquake. Citadel will probably have an upgraded texture, though. Why are you hurt? <laughs> what is hurting you, King Day? Show me on the doll where he touched you. Oh no. Come back. Let's get some summon of Dale in here. Die, creature of shadow! Too bad, King Day. Supposed to give 
Yeah, there it is. Just the fear. Ah, I finally lost my demolisher. Line is almost level 10. Let's use a whirlwind. I didn't get to use a whirlwind and stuff in last last time I used Galadriel. They died before I got to use it. Look at that. The troll dance. It's a thing of beauty. Alright, so now we can summon the citadel. Yeah, buddy! Oh, we even got Shatterhammer. Incredible. Oh, no. I don't care about you, Galadriel. But I do care about Glad. King Dane. Alright, it's for doing it. Freaking doing it. Yes. Ah, oh, the dwarves. Such beauty. As soon as we drop that, we'll uh, have a look at the Citadel a little better. Let's get a couple things on it. Oh, there's a forward spot for a hull expansion sure. Alright, I don't want to kill them yet. We'll leave them with a Mumix bed. That way, the only thing they can build is Mumix. Alright, everybody run away! Nice. So here's the citadel. Here they are. That's what it looks like. That looks pretty nice. Oh shit! <laughs> I think they still got a builder. Is there anything we still can destroy in this map? I need two more power points for earthquake. I mean, I mean they're actually building those. Okay, <laughs> I was actually expecting this. Start pumping out movements. I guess that's the only option. Alright, let's make sure I actually looked at everything here. I looked at all those, looked at all those, looked at the buildings, looked at everything there. I don't get ships this time. We haven't actually looked at a level 3 siege works, but there's a couple dudes on the front. It's no different than level 2, really, other than the tower, I believe, or something. There's plenty of work to go around. Look at statues, hearths. Of course, there we go. Very good. If I look at all the units, yes, yes, and yes. Okay, and I think we're good to go. Let's just try and uh, let's try and end them with an earthquake. Sounds reasonable. Twenty-four points. We're close. We're close. Come on, dwarves. Unfortunately, those weren't the ones with the siege hammers. That would have been a lot easier. Leave it in shambles. Let's turn off the UI for a minute. Yeah. Who needs a UI, man? We'll just watch them move in HD glory. Although I actually do need a UI, it turns out. And I got enough. Excellent. Okay. We'll face this last mimic with just the heroes. And then we'll earthquake to my death. Something's reasonable, right? I think so. If only they didn't move so damn slow. We have a person that can deal with this quite nicely. Yeah, boy. Right. Let's test the. Abilities of Mumix in patch 1.06. Walk over me, scum. Nope, you're not gonna do that. Can we scare away a Mumix? Sure can. Ah, they still hurt. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna die fighting it. Oh, no. I like this. Alright, and now we end it. In their miserable lives. Nice. Very cool. Well, there you go. That is a look at the dwarves and the final faction of the HD edition. Very cool. So, yeah, like I said earlier, HD edition, incredible work. I think it's a really, really great mod. 
Everything looks really crisp. Everything looks really just new and fresh, good, but also kind of re you know retains that original feel. Just makes it feel more current. <laughs> That's a real look I'm looking for. But like, I definitely recommend that to you. If uh, the link will be in the description below, if you want to download the HD edition, and give it a try for yourself. I think I might do a campaign, like replay the campaigns on the HD edition again. I think that might be fun. But yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the look at the HD edition. And that will be it for that. So I will see you guys next time.